Well, you know, we're carrying on with what, what we've started with, obviously, you know, Liam and Cole. And, you know, we brought Brownie in last year. And, you know, I, I knew about this lad from a, a few years ago, actually. He played against my son. And I remember asking the timekeeper. He was playing for Bradford at the time and who he was and his name. It kind of, uh, it stayed with me. So, I've, you know, I followed his path. And, you know, obviously he knows Kieran. We managed to get him across to a practice last year. I wanted to have a look at him. He's a big kid for his age, you know, and... Uh, and we like what we saw, and I mean, it's a massive, massive jump for him, you know, where, where, where he is, and to the elite league level. But we thought he absorbed the uh, information we were giving him really, really well, and and he came back again, and he came back again, and he came back again to practice, and we really liked, and we saw progression each time. And you know, if there's there's one thing that's a bit of Achilles' heel from uh, from the British game is there's you know. Top British defensemen aren't hanging on trees. And, uh, you know, Jordan's a long way from being that. But we feel that he's got the size, the body, the mind to progress and be a very good British defenseman. So, you know, that's uh, that's the reason we've offered him, a, you know, an apprenticeship here with us at the Steelers. So is that two years, as we've seen before with the, with the other lads, that take them up in, yeah. until he's 18? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's two plus one. So, you know, we can assess him after after the two years and see where see where we go from that. And, you know, he's going to move over to Sheffield and, uh, you know, he'll be with us every day. And we'll monitor whether, you know, he can crack our lineup this year, which is probably doubtful if, if you want the truth. But if not, we you know, we'll be loaning him out so he gets some experience, you know, minutes with a with a local club and, uh, and doing the same, you know, uh, and the same kind of pathway that we've done with Liam. So in terms of whether or not he's going to crack the, the team, obviously that's something we don't know. We don't know until the other players are in place and we see what kind of season he has. How difficult is that then to, to bring him along? Is practice enough? Do you have to get him into these early preseason games and kind of mix him in when you can? Oh, he'll be with us for the whole of preseason. I mean, he'll be with us for the first six weeks, you know. So, yeah, it's really important. I mean, and, and the practice time. I mean, game minutes are great, but practice time, you, you touch the puck 30, 40, 50% more times in that, you know. And, and, and if you can practice with these guys and train these guys against men, you know, their progression goes up pretty vast and we've seen that with, with with Liam so you know to him to work out with Danny you know our strength coach and be around the boys every day and learn what it takes to become a professional is, is absolutely huge and if he cracks our lineup great fantastic you know but it's a big ass for a 16 year old lad but he's a big kid he's the GB under 16 captain you know and uh we feel he's a he's, he's a talented youngster and we want to enhance that and another Yorkshire kid and uh we want to give the best guys available the opportunity to, to make it to the professional game and with the Steelers. 